Hi, my name is Tatiana Henriquez and I'll be doing a review on Hocus Pocus number two. Hey. Hey, happy birthday. Thanks. So what are you guys doing tonight? Birthday ritual, scary movie marathon, same as every year. So the three main yeah, characters in the film are the Sanders sisters birthday, as well as the new coven that is coming. So it's about how this girl is coming into her powers on her 16th birthday because they need a ritual but she also opens up, where she uses the black candle, she opens up the portal in order for the Sanders sisters to come out of their prison which they got they got trapped and been put into a um, an outer world, which is like a prison for witches. Thanks. Then, yes, Salem, we're back! <laughs> hey, it's the Sanderson sisters. I bet you're looking for the stage. Always. Oh, my favorite part. Definitely when they came out. I reckon that was so funny when they came out, especially how uh, Sarah acted and how she is. She's just so freely and fl flowy and stuff. Yeah, she's like carefree. And my other favorite part would be when Becca comes into her powers and then she realizes that she has powers and everything. So I thought that was quite good because she's coming to know herself and I thought that was real cool. And um, at the beginning, when the children were, even though they were really young and it's quite tragic that they try to take her take her sisters away from her but it's how the story started so I feel like that's the main important part and I thought that was a good one. Oh, and the music the music how they lure people and they just come into play Sarah's little witty, wittiness and stuff I just love it and then Winifred yeah her direction and sharpness yeah gotta love it we should get some salt why? So we taste better when they eat us? Being in a century that has nothing and they have to do everything themselves when it came to just the doors opening because we've got sensories and they thought, oh my gosh, that person's powerful. I am powerful too. And yeah, no, I thought that was funny. And then the broom part as well when she... <laughs> When they all chose her, their mops to be their broom in order for them to fly and she chose those two little hoovers kind of thing and they have like a mind on their own and she thought it was a power within the hoover but it's just a normal hoover that senses that and picks it up and I just thought that was funny how she used that. <laughs> well, wait, can we talk about this? No. <laughs> <laughs> we must fly! <laughs> I like the comedy that they had, how they kind of modernized everything and it wasn't so old school. And then how Salem now is like a city, it's like a normal place, like it doesn't look how it used to be. Once I watch it again, there'll probably be certain things that I would pick up on more. But from the first experience of watching it firsthand, I love it. So probably like 4.5 towards a 5, in my opinion, yeah. So, and I'm a fan of films like this. So yeah, definitely for me, it's like, 10-10. That's not six feet under. Stop! I am a good zombie!